know why your fingers wrinkle in water? Do you wonder if there are any threats to hands being wrinkly? So far, there are two main theories about this phenomenon. The osmosis theory and the nervous system theory. However, either of these have been proven to be entirely correct. In this video, we will be exploring both theories and deciding which one is more possible. Let's start with the osmosis theory. But before we can talk about that, we need to go over a few things first. Seaweed oil is the only thing that protects your skin and your hair. It is made in sebaceous glands. Keratin dead cells are the dead cell layer of the stratum corneum that protects you from water loss. The layer of skin has three layers, epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous tissue. Osmosis is the movement of water that passes through the cell membrane from lower to higher concentration. Sebum oil protects the skin. When we are in the water, sebum oil happens to get off the skin. Then, osmosis happens. After that, the expanding and shrinking process begins, so it happens to be a wrinkled skin. A previous school of thought suggested that the main cause of skin wrinkling on fingers and toes was the result of osmotic swelling of the outermost layer of the skin, also known as stratum corneum. As the name suggests, this is where water moves from a low solute concentration to a high solute concentration through a the wall of a living cell. Before we talk about the next theory, we need to know these things first. The autonomic nervous system is basically what controls all the involuntary parts of our body, such as heart rate, blood pressure, and so on. The ANS consists of two divisions the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. The SNS deals with fears and stress, how you will react to it. The PNS deals with how the body responds to the rest of relax, to rest and relaxation. So constriction is when your blood vessel muscle make your inside space smaller by tightening it. In the theory, we have found out that if the nerve in our sympathetic nervous system get cut, the wrinkled fingers will not occur due to nerve function loss. And it has also been found out that it also happened due to vast constriction too. Toes and fingers have more keratin cells in the epidermis of the hands and feet than the rest of the body. The epidermis is the outer layer of the two main layers of cells that make up the skin. The reason the epidermis of the hands and feet have more keratin cells is because the bunching up of the skin is less abundant in other parts of the body, causing wrinkling to only occur in fingers and toes. Although our nails and hair are also made of keratin cells, they absorb water while we bathe, so they don't shrink in volume but instead grow softer. If wrinkly skin occurs without having been submerged in water, it could be a sign of a medical problem, such as smoking, exposure to UV light, stress, or atherochlorosis, which is a cardiovascular condition that can lead to more serious issues such as a heart attack or a stroke. There are some advantages that come with wrinkly fingers, although we don't have much use for it now. Wrinkly fingers and toes can help your grip in water to make it easier to move in water. This most likely helped our ancestors hunt in water. 